Greeting commanders, this is a short video on how to harvest manufactured goods from signal sources. First thing you do is you need a small ship with a few things on board. So let's go to outfit and show you what I've done here. Uh, I've literally just bought this ship. I haven't made any other changes other than to upgrade the cargo rack and fit a collect Olympic controller and a fuel scoop. Fuel scoop is just a by the by really, I add them to most ships. And the reason for that, let's go to advanced maintenance and add limpets. So we've got 16 limpets. Confirm. Don't worry about that because materials don't actually take any space whatsoever. So we need to go outside. Yes, I know it's auto launch, but never mind. All right, we get away from the station. Get into super cruise. the system with the D scanner and then stop and go to panel one and we're looking for unidentified signal sources there is a different way to do this using the FSS but that's basically what we're looking for there and if you've got super cruise assist you can lock onto it by just checking that and then you just align and away we go now that's actually the wrong type we don't want that type at all so we're going to cancel that and go into FSS now the signal sources are all up this end of the dial but you can see there's quite a few of them Degraded is one of the ones we need. There's also high grade and emission. Emission is usually data and degraded is usually materials. There's encoded, which is the data one that we're looking for. And we've got more degraded. Oh, there's a planet in the way. Encoded. But for the purposes of this, we'll do one of each. We'll do a degraded. So you just lock on to that. 6,000 away. Not going. Ah. Oh, there's one there for that. Sometimes they have threat levels, honestly. It's not usually an issue. That one's a bit closer. So we'll go there. And one thing I did mention in a stream that I was watching is to highlight ships on your way through systems. And what will happen is, as long as they're in front of you, you will get a scan of some description. Sometimes you can pick up scans this way. And it doesn't help doesn't hurt to know what's in the system around you now if you're doing a lot of this super cruises assist is a really good feature because it will drop you out at the point where you need to be
It's there before it took me long enough. Select the collector limb pit from the fire group and I allocate the fire group in the fire groups panel. If you look at the top right of the screen, you'll see an info panel, and the time there is the amount of time that that particular degraded emissions source will be available so it's available for another 21 minutes but they do expire so if you're looking at a high grade which is half an hour away and it, and it takes you half an hour to get there the chances are it will be disappeared by the time you get there so just keep that in mind So you see all of the white things on the radar in the sensor. Now if you do not target anything and simply launch a couple of collector and pits, then they should go out and get them. Open the cargo scoop and deploy the limpets. Looks like there's cargo out here. The way to look, so there's canisters. Now what you can do is add those to the effectively ignore list. Because all you really want are these things, chemicals. Chemical storage units. Now if you do pick up something you don't want, then just go into the inventory and throw it out you really don't want that. how to collect little manufactured mats. Now we're going to go and get some scan. We're going to go to the encoded emissions. There's one closer. I 
Maybe not. Let's say super cruise this. Can really help you out doing stuff like this. We don't have to use it. You're flying around if you just target ships. Sometimes you'll get scans off them. This one's a little bit different. Uh, there's a couple of manufactured mats out there. So we'll open the cargo scoop. Throw out a couple of collector limpets. And the other thing we've got here is a data node. For that, you need the data link scanner. You can see that on the right of my HUD. crashed into something. Now that's given me conductive components. All right, we want to get the private data beacon. I think this does it automatically actually. There you go, you've got two eccentric hyperspace trajectories. Now that actually equates to six eccentric hyperspace trajectories. You can check how you're doing by going to your inventory and under materials this will be everything that you've got in terms of uh, manufactured materials and raw materials which is like cadmium, carbon, chemical delivery, chemical manipulators. If you want the data this is your encoded materials. So what we've just picked up is eccentric hyperspace trajectories. And that's where you check. This is a synthesis panel. This is where you can create things on board to replace stuff that we've used. But it does have a material cost. So that cost iron, 10 iron and 10 nickel to create limpets. And that is pretty much how you do it. And you just find the signal sources, go to the signal sources, collect the things, and that will give you all the materials that you need for engineering and synthesis. And I hope that helps. Thanks for joining.